Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Cezary Sobczak and today I'm going to talk about uh, support of the NESA Alwiner D1 in uh, Meta Risk v um, Some facts about me and what I'm doing now. Mm, I'm a junior embedded system developer at FreeMDev with two years of experience. Uh, in my everyday work, uh, I'm on uh, IoT and embedded systems projects, basically Linux and that sort of stuff. Uh, on the other hand, I'm still um, a student of the last year of uh, master's uh, at Gdańsk University of Technology uh, with specialities in embedded systems and autonomous vehicles. Uh, my main interests are automotive, IoT, embedded systems and microcontrollers. Um, let's talk about agenda. Um, here is a list of uh, main topics uh, which I want to present to you. Uh, so at first, let's talk about uh, uh, project background and how it begins stuff. Uh, what is a meta risk file? Uh, here is a short description of uh, this Yocto meta layer and what you can find here. Uh, after that, I will introduce you to MS NESA board and its features and what configuration for this board I prepared in Meta Risk V. Uh, the next ones are boot flow uh, of the Risk V board, uh, SD card storage layout, uh, how the recipe for SPL boot zero was created, uh, what patches for Open SBI uh, were provided. Uh, custom U-boot and Linux recipes specific for NESA board with Allwinner D1 supported software. And at the end, I want to show you how to build a minimal image from a MetaRisk 5, uh, show you a demo uh, and describe known issues and things that isn't supported yet. Uh, so the idea of creating a simple uh, system for risk five based board come when I was talk thinking about my master thesis title. Uh, I wanted to learn more about uh, this new instruction set architecture uh, using my knowledge from uh, and skills uh, from work uh, at the same time. Uh, at first, I planned to prepare a Yocto based image uh, for the Beagle 5 board. Mm. As you probably know, uh, the development of um, board was cancelled, so I had to change my plans. Uh, in that case, uh, I had to do some research on the market to find a new SBC uh, or processor I can use uh, in my project. And that's how I found uh, NESA board, which has support in base BSPs and Linux kernel, but not in the Yocto project. Uh, that reason why I decided to uh, do some sort of support of this board in a Yocto project. Uh, so um, what is uh, MetaRisk 5? Um, it's an open embedded Yocto layer for RISC five based boards, uh, and it contains a BSP for it. Here you can find uh, machine configurations, recipes for specific firmware software of the board, and examples of how to build the basic Yocto image uh, for these uh, machines, uh, e.g. using uh, CAS container. Mm. So if you want to create a system image for a particular risk 5 board, uh, Meta risk 5 should be the main part of your project. Mm, NESA board uh, is a development board that uh, is designed by an AWOL. Uh, this project use, uh, uses a D1 SOC from Alwinner, uh, which is used for the first time by the general public. Mm, probably this board is the first massive product and available SBC based on RISC V architecture, uh, taking in mind um, 
the fact that the Beagle 5 pilot program uh, with version beta of the board was cancelled in August 2021. Uh, the background uh, behind the name of this board um, is that it was taken from a fic fictional character uh, in Chinese literature. Neza uh, also means the third prince uh, and he is a god uh, which was fighting the dragons and snake. Uh, his sign can be found on the board and also uh, at the slide uh, at the left. Mm, therefore, mm, let's take a closer look at the specification of D1 SOC. Uh, it has a single core 64 bit uh, RISC V processor with uh, one uh, gigahertz clock, hi fi uh, DSP block, 2D graphic uh, accelerator. It's, it is able to handle up to two gigabytes of RAM and has uh, 256 megabytes of flash memory. Um, the peripherals of the NESA board um, are as follows. Uh, the interesting thing uh, is on board is a SPI NAND flash where the reference uh, Tina OS uh, is pre-installed. And if the SD card isn't in a slot, after power up operating system is loaded from the, this NAND storage. Uh, other, other cool feature is separated header uh, for UART labeled as debug. Mm, let's talk about uh, machine configuration. Uh, machine configuration for boards can be found in meta risk five at path uh, conf slash machine. Uh, here you can check and change configuration for a particular machine. Uh, key features of NESA Alwiner D1 configuration is uh, that it uses Mm, a fit image format of Linux kernel, uh, which with U boot zero and U boot and OpenSBI are installed in final uh, WEC image, uh, which are used to flash compiled firmware and rootFS to the storage. Uh, other thing uh, is here is specified that the virtual preferred provider of Linux and U-Boot are patched versions of for NESA board. Um, what is uh, differential from the uh, other config files for from Meta Risk Five uh, is that NESA uh, doesn't have kernel device tree and risk five SBI FDT set because the um, DTB is loaded from RAM at address FDT control address, which is stored in a U-boot environment. Uh, last thing is to set proper U-boot uh, dev config and three point device tree load address and uh, binary file name. Mm, so let's uh, talk about uh, boot flow. Uh, boot firmware on D1 uh, consists of three parts, which largely correspond to the components uh, used by 64-bit RM socks. Um, first stage, uh, isn't at this diagram, but the firmware stored in, in ROM is uh, loading the boot zero SPL. Uh, the second stage bootloader uh, loads uh, U-boot uh, 
that TOC1 image, uh, which stores open SBI and uh, U-boot binaries. At the end, uh, TPL uh, U-boot loads uh, Yocto OS. Um, so what are the components I just mentioned? Uh, boot zero is modified for this board and uses as SPL due to features such enabling the T-head ISA and MMU extensions. Um, the problem with U-boot SPL uh, was that SUNC-C device drivers are tightly intertwined with, uh, with the RM architecture. And because DRAM in it wasn't reverse engineered. Uh, this version was, has been modified so it can be built outside uh, the BSP's build system. So it compiles with mainline GCC and so it cooperates better with mainline firmware binaries. Uh, I checked the Samuel Holland U-boot repository, repository lately and I saw that he made some effort um, to support the U-boot uh, SPL uh, for the G1 chip, uh, but I didn't run the U-boot SPL at my NASA board. Um, open SBI, uh, Open SBI. Open SBI is a supervisor, uh, which is an interface between two less privileged modes, boot zero and TPL boot loader. Um, it is a part of TOC image, as same as U boot binary and the device tree blob. Uh, at the end, we have U boot, uh, and U boot in all of this uh, is treated as TPL boot loader which initialize uh, additional hardware and loads kernel from storage or the network. Mm, here you are uh, SD card storage layout. Um, and on the picture, you can see um, a layout for 16 gigabyte uh, SD card. Uh, which was cut into four sections. Uh, firmware in raw disk space. Partition one labeled as boot. Uh, partition two labeled as root FS and free space left. Um, the NASA board uh, boot mm, ROM, uh, the NASA boot ROM. Sorry, uh, the NASA bootroom can read uh, the boot zero SPL from different locations, uh, such as uh, sector 16 or sector mm, 256. Um, I choose to install boot zero at in sector 16 instead of 256. Even if it is incompatible with uh, GPT partitioning, uh, but uh, it does not cause problems during uh, boot, so I uh, thought it was it is fine for me. Uh, the TOC image uh, with firmware uh, dynamic uh, open SBI binary. U-boot uh, DTB and binary blob is stored in a uh, higher sectors. Mm. Now uh, I want to tell you about uh, what I achieve during uh, preparation of recipe for boot zero. Um, to fit it uh, in the Yocto project build system, uh, some adjustments uh, to boot zero make file had to be done. Uh, so um, 
allow overriding the variable uh, which contains information about uh, the used tool, uh, e.g. Uh, C compiler or linker. Remove uh, no as to the ink from config.mk, which helps build uh, on different kinds of tool chains. Um, but the most important thing was to fix build with bin utils uh, 2.28 version. Uh, it was necessary uh, due to the um, new ISA specification version. Uh, this means that the CSR read write instructions and fans.i instructions has separated from the i extension and become two standalone extensions. Uh, zi Z, uh, csr and uh, zi fancy. Mm. Patches for OpenSBI. Uh, mainline OpenSBI uh, supports the C906 out of the box, uh, but it needs a few tweaks and new reset driver uh, for the Sung C watchdog. Mm. Here we have two patches prepared by Samuel Holland, which are applied during build process. Uh, first one, uh, add a separate compatible timer for D1 Clint, which does not support 64-bit MIO access. Um, a property was uh, added uh, to support this quirk, and that property was copied uh, to the A Clint M timer code. However, since difference uh, in behavior, making the D1 uh, client incompatible with the C5 client's programming interface. Uh, a better solution is to use a separate compatible string. Um, the next one, FDT uh, requires uh, match data to be constant. Uh, this match data stores uh, hardware attributes that do not change at runtime, so it does not need to be uh, mutable. Uh, and this patch is a dependency of the previous one. Uh, as it was mentioned uh, by Samuel in a comment to my pull request to MetaRisk5, uh, the current state of this feature is that a new version of a client M timer build, uh, binding upstream and THAT D1 compatible can be added to it. Uh, I don't know what's the status of this for today. So I can tell you uh, if that's a, that's work or anything. Okay, my favorite part <laughs> as where I do, uh, where I done many things. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, U-Boot recipe adaptation. Uh, I prepared standalone recipe uh, for U-Boot. Uh, and main changes uh, com compared to mainline uh, is as follows. For now, uh, NESA using U-Boot patched version of 2022.01 uh, release from Huawei fork, which is used uh, by Fedora in their NESA distro. Um, the patch uh, that fixed a problem during uncompressing the kernel image was provided by me. Uh, it's only uh, set the proper value of config sys boot len 
if RISC-V based board is built. Uh, same thing as uh, for boot zero fix uh, for bin utils. Uh, it was necessary due to the new ISA specification. Mm. Next thing was to provide TLC config file uh, used by MK image tool uh, to create TLC image. Uh, Boot zero expects to load a TLC one image containing uh, OpenSBI and UBoot and a DTB. The following config file contains information uh, on where to find binaries and where to load them during boot. Uh, provide custom uboot environment file, uh, unfneza.txt. Uh, the most interesting thing uh, is uh, in this file is a way of uh, starting the kernel. kernel. Uh, as you can see, uh, the device tree blob is loaded from FDT control address, as I mentioned uh, earlier, <clears throat> during boot, and uh, it was mentioned earlier. Uh, at this address, at RAM, uh, exists the DTB provided by uBoot. Again, Samuel gave me a hint that if I use this DTB, it uh, ensures uh, that it has to the support of the specific version of the NASA board. It's mainly about the amount of RAM memory. Mm, the last thing mm, I had to do was to create a new task uh, to make TOC image, which uh, creates a TOC image uh, after do compile and before do deploy uboot tasks. Uh, creating a new Yocto task was necessary uh, because it has dependency on the open SBI to deploy uh, task uh, because during the TLC image creation, the firmware dynamic binary is used. And uh, you can see it here uh, in section OpenSBI. You can see the file uh, F dynamic binary is used and load at address uh, specified in this file. Mm. Okay, so uh, let's talk about Linux recipe adaptation. Uh, I can tell you here uh, was uh, not very much work, uh, but same as for Uboot, a standalone recipe was prepared. Uh, and uh, NASA board is using the kernel version uh, 5.16. Uh, source code of the kernel is taken from Fedora fork again, as for you, but uh, it was necessary to add C groups and auto FS4 kernel features by uh, set up the kernel um, features variable. Um, these kernel options aren't set up in NESA dev config, so I enable it from the Yocto uh, build environment. Again, fix for uh, bin utils, same reason as previous changes to uh, ESA specification. Okay, so um, let's see uh, how I and you, any one of you, uh, can build a reference hockey distro uh, for NASA board. So before building, uh, you should have cast container installed 
uh, on your host PC. Uh, you can get it from Siemens CAS repository, uh, repository on GitHub. Uh, the next thing is a source code of uh, is source code of uh, Yocto Meta Risk Five layer, uh, which also can be downloaded from GitHub. Uh, the last thing is to just run one command from a terminal to build core image minimal Pocky distro. So now it's time for demo. <laughs> I want to uh, prove to you uh, that really works and uh, how Pocky OS is loaded by Nezaboard from SD card. So I need to change screen. Okay, here we go. You should see other, okay. So as you can see, uh, boot zero loads uh, talk, talks, uh, one image and open SBI and here boot. Oh, I and now the kernel is started. There is some errors, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I try. Oh, you can see it. Everything is okay. Yep, looks good. Okay, and we are uh, logging to the system check uh, CPU info, check free uh, memory. So yeah, it works. Okay, so... Uh, the last section of my presentation, uh, known issues and needs. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, U-Boot SPL is currently available, but I didn't check that uh, yet, so I can't tell now and if it works. Uh, the problem I... Uh, uh, Checked, I find uh, is RNG tools. Uh, for some reasons, it crashes uh, during the start with uh, six seg v in libc. Uh, this problem doesn't exist when the have have get random uh, number generator is used uh, in a build. And last thing. Uh, is uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. For now, it isn't possible to use a wireless interface. Uh, there is a need to port XR829 kernel module for version uh, 5.16 and higher. From And this um, kernel module can be found uh, in Tina Linux, which is uh, which kernel version is five uh, point four. 